the Browns are winners again. Oh, this game was really fun. The atmosphere was crazy just because, you know, sold out fans, you know, stadium was rocking. Just the amount of people, the energy, like you could hear them, you know, on the bench, just yelling out our name, you know, trying to pump us up, getting ready to go out there. And I just, it was just electrifying, you know. Every time he made a play, you know, it was almost deafening in there. The crowd came out today and showed their appreciation for what they've done. And it's, the future is very bright. It really is. I mean, every time you play against like a division rival, you, you always feel like the stakes are higher only because you, you see them twice a year. So you always want to make sure you don't have a bad taste in your mouth after you play them. So guys didn't want to let the foot off the gas. They wanted to play like really fast, really hard. And, you know, it's kind of make a statement that this is what we're trying to do for a long time. Third down, they need 14. Driscoll's got it. Back to pass. He's going to get hit in the pocket. He's going to get hit again. And oh, good job. He got him. Back at the 34-yard line. The Browns defense has absolutely been amazing today. Yeah. It was dope. Like, to be able to get that sack and just to hear the crowd and everything. And I got to, like, flex my torn bicep. <laughs> it was just like a influx of emotion because you always there's always that what if you know when you get hurt like am I still gonna be able to do what I did before like am I still gonna be the player I was before and you know just going through that whole thing right there just made me feel like like you still got it like you're good like everything's gonna work out and that is the end of three quarters here at the stadium you don't want to go home today to have them cheering and yelling and making all the noise and then when they're that little scuffle with Baker and uh, Carlos and he's down near the first down and then the Bengals go after him on the far sideline. Yeah. Dunlap was over there. Michael Johnson is over there. Fans were throwing beer and stuff, which was kind of crazy to me to see because Greg always talks about, like, they used to throw batteries and stuff at him. But I didn't know I ever really believed it. But now I kind of saw it yesterday. I was like, well, maybe they did throw batteries. So, I mean, it was cool. The atmosphere was crazy. And I feel like we got the best fans in the world. I know we got the best fans in the world. Mayfield yelling to the crowd now. Let's go. I'm just happy to get the win, to be honest. Like. I know we, we're kind of playing spoilers right now, but at the same time, like to me, it's just to me, it's not even about them. Like I could care less about what they got going on. My most important thing is, you know, to bring a winning season to you know Cleveland because I haven't had one in a long time, and I feel like that would be really special. We are turning this thing around, but now it's time to start making that push to what we really want to go, and that's you know to bring a championship to Cleveland. And I feel like we got the guys to do it. The biggest thing is to just focus on keep getting better, keep winning, keep doing what we got to do and just keep bringing that joy, that smile to Cleveland because they've been waiting on it for so long and I feel like we can really make some noise. So.